Hello! Um, I hope this is working. Um, my old laptop that we use for all the setup um, had managed to, um, while I was away, um, done an update, done one of these like automatically changed from Windows 10 to Windows 11, done an automatic update and it shut everything off. Even I think it was working. Luckily, Phil was here working and he was like, cool, let me have a look and managed to get us back online. So I hope you can hear me, hope you can see me. Um, happy, happy Wednesday. Hope you're all okay. Um, oh yeah, some of you are coming through, brilliant. So hi Anne, hi Sheila, hi Wendy, fab. Um, oh, I was only five minutes late, it's not too bad, is it? <laughs> oh, I was like, no, because we got back really late. Phil and I went away, um, Barry and I went away for the weekend. Um, I had just the best time. You know when you like, realise you still like them because you giggle all weekend? Yeah, it was like that. It was brilliant. Just the best weekend. We really did. Um, and we got back quite late last night and we were just knackered from travelling. So just vegged. And I quickly prepped something, but I was like, oh, I won't bother to sew a, a sample up. It'll be fine. I've done the maths, did the maths on the plane to make sure the block would work. And didn't bother to check any of this, but it wouldn't work. But it's working now. So hello, everybody. Um, uh, I hope everybody's OK. I hope you all had a good bank holiday. I had a very good bank holiday, although it wasn't bank holiday in Holland. But it was bank holiday weekend. We were away and it was amazing. Really, really good. If anybody uh, wants to visit Amsterdam but doesn't necessarily want to stay in Amsterdam, stay in Zandvoort, which is 10 minutes on the train. And there's like sprinter trains going straight from Zandvoort into Amsterdam Central. Um, stay in Zandvoort. It's the most beautiful little like village stroke town. It's not really a town, it's a village. The most amazing beaches there, just stunning. You'd have thought I was like in the Caribbean or something. It was gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. White sand beaches. Lovely little beach bars and taverners. Yeah, just the best time. And the weather was like 21 degrees on Monday, which was brilliant. We literally had a bucket of beers, lunch, sat for like three hours in the sunshine. It was brilliant. Love it, love it, love it. So, um, so yeah, I've had, the, I've had the best weekend, thank you. I really did, it was lush. It was lush, lush, thanks guys. Um, so first of all, I've got a quick daily deal for you. So um, there are normal scrap packs. I've managed to put some normal, normal scrap packs up together today. So they're back in stock if you like our scrap packs. But what I've done as well is I've done some small scraps as packs as well. So these are 10 ounces instead of 12 ounces. And they are all really little, little bits. So if you're making like a pre-K or postage stamp, so they're, you know, like normally you get you're much much bigger pieces these are all like little little ditty pieces you know like this sort of size and smaller so i've put some small scrap packs on i think we've called them minis um oh am i am i freezing for everybody or is it just you carolyn let people let me know han because um i really don't know what's going on i think we fixed the problem but we might not have so hi heather lovely hi jane hi carol Hello everybody. Um, just let me know if it's still freezing, then let me know and I'll try and... Oh, I had to restart the laptop and all sorts. But um, anyway, we've got a few of these, what, I, what I'm calling mini scrap bags because they're slightly smaller, um, but they've got lots and lots of little pieces in them. Okay, so there's those available as well, um, just on the daily deal section. Sound is okay, but pitch is freezing. Okay. Um, don't know what to do about that I'm afraid and my husband's just gone into a meeting so I can't even ask him so um I'll get Drew on it Drew will be home this evening I'm going to get Drew to completely reset it already for tomorrow I think um and see what we can do about the settings and stuff um but we just might have to muddle through today okay um right so the block we're going to do today we're actually going to do a bit of an experimental a bit of an experiment block because um I was playing around on the plane with my sketch pad with my notebook um just coming up with some like little block ideas and stuff and thought oh well that's a cute little block in its own right you know just using jelly because i'm using jelly roll scraps and, and stuff froze here for a while too picture freezing now and again oh. i'm sorry guys i think it's something to do with this update and there's nothing i can do about it at the moment um it might just be where the Wi-Fi is dropping in and out and things. So I will get Drew to like wipe it all later and reset everything. And hopefully then it'll work properly. I think it's the updates messed something up somewhere. Um, 
So, oh yeah, I can see here that the rate keeps dropping out, which is really strange. It keeps saying that I haven't got enough Wi-Fi, but we've got like super, super duper Wi-Fi. So I don't know why that's why that's doing that. Yeah, I can see it's dropping out all the time. Mm. I don't know. I don't know how to fix that. I'm not techy enough. All I can say is it will muddle through today and I'll get Drew and Phil to like properly look at it and see if we can get, get it working again properly. Okay. So what we're going to do anyway, I'm over here, aren't I? Well, number three. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to have a little look at this block and then we're going to cut into it and join it back together and see what happens. Okay. So if you wanted to make just this little one, which I think would look really nice, it'd be almost, you could do it like an Irish chainy type thing. Um, you're going to need, you'd need three, three colours, okay, so I've got three two inch squares, so I was using up jelly roll squares, they're strips, you know, just to, just because, you know, that's why I'm doing them these sizes, so you're going to need three of the, the one that's going to go, I'm going to call that A, which is going down the middle, okay, you want of B, you want a two and a half by four and a half and a two and a half inch square, and then you want the same of a third colour, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to lie this out. So this is going to go like that as a diagonal. And then we're going to sew that one and that one in there. So we've got a bit of a, a block like that. And that one and that one in there. So it's a really, really super simple, easy little block to do. Okay, I think that's two and a half. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, but then we're going to cut into it and see what happens when we cut into it. Okay, Gremlins in the whole system today. Wi-Fi at work was messy too. I know. Oh, Claire, it's a flipping nightmare. It really is. I don't know, I really wish they wouldn't do updates, but apparently Phil was saying, um, would your mini scrap packs be suitable for it? Um, you might have some pieces that are a Heather that are big enough for that. Some pieces will be littler, um, but some pieces will be more than big enough. Um, they really are, it's a real mixture of, you can see this, like th that piece there would be big enough, but some pieces, you've got some little diddy bits, and actually you might get a two and a half inch square at some of it, but some of it's like binding width, some of it's, diddy so um it's all just those little scraps i don't want them to go into landfill so i thought well somebody might be able to use them um these are the um the end of a regency somerset jelly roll that i was working and playing around with this would work i think as well with the charm pack i think you'd be able to do this with the charm pack as long as you had some doubles oh no because you'd get the two and a half yeah you know this would work with the charm pack as well so um we're going to sew these together in rows really, really simply. We're going to lie it out like that, and then we're going to sew the rows together. So I'm going to pop that one right sides together like that, stitch down here, and we're going to put that row together, and then we're going to put that row together. Okay, and then once we've done that, I'm going to iron it all out. I'll show you what we're going to do. I thought we'd do, do a bit of an experiment block today, mainly because I didn't have a lot of time last night when I got home to sort anything out. So but I've got this evening, I, I'm almost ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's one o'clock, as long as the flipping uh, tech works. So we've got one down like that. Just using quarter inch seam allowance. One on like that. And one on like that. There we go. And then, while well, the buffering on my, your Wi Fi is terrible today, I don't think it's you, lovely. I think it's us. Um, Pam, um, I'm not sure it's you, lovely. I think it might be um, my silly Wi-Fi. I don't know what's going on. Oh, hang on. There we go, that one. So that one's going on there, isn't it? That one's going on there. <laughs> I forgot which one it, way around it was going then. Uh, yeah, better, absolutely. Better for jelly roll scraps or, um, I mean, our bigger scrap packs of much larger pieces, you definitely get loads out of that. Um, but the smaller ones, I don't know if you'd necessarily get get enough out okay right okay we're just going to come back over here a second and iron this out so I'm just gonna my filthy board <laughs> so I'm just gonna iron these out so that we can nest those seams so I've got one like that um, that's my center one so ooh, and I want to make sure the blue's touching the blue so if that one's going that way I want them to go the other way so I can nest that little seam so make sure that goes that way like that and then that one's going to go on top like that oh no hang on no because i need them i need it to be going the, the diagonal to go in the same way hang on what have i done there we go like that 
and like that that's what I need it so you want it you want each block for that center bit to go otherwise it won't work so if that's going that way that's going that way I got myself all turned around there we go on top like that we're going to nest that seam there get that point nice and then we'll put this bottom one on okay um, oh, um, back over here hi Jean oh don't worry about being late lovely thank you for joining us so you said yours is all good oh well at least somebody somebody can hear and see me <laughs> Yeah, um, I know Sarah had difficulty yesterday, didn't she, with her um, one o'clock. Um, so I'm going to get the boys to uh, the boys tonight to. I'm just going to iron this one out quickly and put the other one on. Okay. Um, I'm going to get the boys to look at it tonight when they when Drew's home from work and sort of see if we can make this work properly. So it's no fun for you guys if you can't actually see or watch what I'm doing, is it? It's no fun for me because I just worry about it all the time as well. <laughs> so, there we go, turn that one. Just make sure that's all nested in. Like that. So how is everybody? What did you all get up to over um, the bank holiday? I'm sure you all told Sarah yesterday, but I, I, couldn't, I couldn't see her live, so... Uh, how, did, how are you all? Is everyone okay? Everybody had a, had a good, good break? There we go. So you could absolutely just um, make lots of blocks like this. And you can see actually when you put them together, you'd get these lovely crosses, wouldn't you? Um, so if you imagine that one was like, let me see if I can make this work. Because um, we would want that to be like it would be like that, wouldn't it? Can you see these kind of crosses would happen when you put them together? Which might be quite nice, because then you'd have extra secondary ones and then you'd get lines of these little ones sort of surrounding these crosses. So that's actually a really interesting little pattern. You could just do that from what is a very, very simple block. But I thought we'd, we'd try messing around with it. So what I thought we could do is cut it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my 45 degree line down the edge there like that and cut it through the diagonal like that okay so I'm hitting those points there and the corners like that we're going to do the same with this one as well and then sew back together again see what happens there we go up like that and then if you mix and match them, so if that one goes with that one and that one goes with that one, you end up with these little half squares as well. So I thought we could put those together and see, see how that works. So um, is this going to work? I genuinely don't know. How are we going to get this to line up? Because you want that to be, when I do a quarter of an inch, you'd lose it, wouldn't you? Ooh. So do I want to offset it by quarter of an inch? If I offset by quarter of an inch, would that work? Hang on, I'm going to work this out. See, this is a complete experiment, total experiment. So if I want it to go back together like that, and I want them to be a quarter inch, quarter inch, I'm going to lose that block, aren't I? I'm going to sew this one together first, and let's see what happens. And then we can work out how to see if we can get how to offset it. So this is, like, like you can see, an absolute experiment. It was one of those, I quite like this cute little block. I thought that would work really, really well. And it would, it, you could, you know, you'd get like noughts and crosses with the, a big diamond design and everything. Really, really easy to do with the jelly roll. But, you know, I'm a, a what if girl. <laughs> what if we cut it up? What if we cut it up and see what happens? So let's just do this one. Literally just putting it together with a quarter of an inch. And making sure all those edges are down like that. Oh, there we go. Line it all up. See what that comes out as. I don't think we're going to get. We'll just come over here a second and back over here, hopefully. When we iron this out. Now I see it's a little bit off. 
Could we make that work? Hmm, it's quite interesting though. Let me just give that a good press. So you can see when you go put it back together, the square in the centre is okay, but you've got these like slightly, you know, the what's the word? The squares now aren't touching. Is there any way we can make that work? Is there any way I can do that? Oh, I don't know. <gasps> Ooh. Would it bother me? I like the fact that the squares are touching. Sorry, this is completely me rambling. This is how I quilt sometimes. <laughs> is when I'm playing around with designs and all you know it's my what if thing so um what's that your Jean you're good but still tired after the weekend oh what did you what did you get up to at the weekend Han so just putting them side to you know right sides together it does mean that your um your little squares do join up which is quite nice you have got those little half squares but you end up with a bit of a gap here which I'm not sure I like but what else could we do? How else could we make that? What else could we do with that? I wonder if we did that with them. Made squares that way. Made crosses. You'd have a lot of biased edges there, wouldn't you? Oh, that's no good fun. That's no fun at all. But we can't offset them because if we offset it, you won't get you won't get that square coming in. I don't. Th I don't think you can do it. I think this might be in a failed experiment. Although. Not necessarily, because I don't think it matters that that's like that. <gasps> what about if we put a piece of fabric in there? That might be interesting. Let's try that. Let's try that. Let me see if I've got a scrap here. Oh, let's see if I've got a real strong accent colour. What would work? That's why I'm going through my scrap bu bu bucket. Oh, green's not good, is it? Let's just see what I've got in here. Actually, let's just, should we just use some cream? That's not long enough. We've got a long thin scrap. So talk amongst yourselves for a second, ladies. Two seconds while I see what I've got in my scrap bucket. Um, here we go, let's try that. That's sort of the same sort of colour in. What about if we put a strip in there? Let's see what happens then. Uh, it was the Gervan Folk Festival weekend. Late nights and friends staying with us. Oh yeah, but it sounds like fun, hun. It's always good to have friends over, isn't it? Right, let's if I cut a one and a half inch strip. And let's see what that does to the block. Let's cut one and a half inch strip like that. Because that didn't work quite how I wanted it to. Let's so let's play around with something else. So I'm going to put this on first like that. Okay. And I want it to be just a weeny bit longer, don't we? I'll do that. I'm going to put some pins in because it's bias. So you want. You want it to stay put. It doesn't want to stay put today. There we go. One there. And one up there. Just make sure it stays in line. Like that. And then I'm going to stitch down that and then we're going to flip it out and put the other one the other side to see what happens. Okay. So what else have you guys been up to? You know, not, None of you are very chatty today. Or is that my Wi-Fi? Am I not seeing half the comments? <laughs> it might be that. If you've stayed around or if you're given up because it's freezing too badly. There we go. Let's just make sure that comes out of the way because we've got a little bit of chunky bit there. There we go. And then take those little uh, pins out, just very quickly press it out and I'm going to press it out towards that seam. Uh, to that that strip not seam that strip like that and then actually it'll come over here and then we're going to add this one on like that so I would want to just line it up so what I'm looking for is kind of where those points are going to be like that and where this point is in line with this one here that's what I'm looking for on it okay Let's pop this one in. See, this is what I do. I just mess around and cut stuff up and chuck it back together and go, oh, that works. Oh, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> hmm. There we go. Okay, so we're going to pop that along there. Thing seems to have settled down. Carrie, you're tempted to make a dress. Ah, oh, amazing. Not freezing too much for you guys. You're still with me. Brilliant. Fab. 
Oh, Carrie, what dress are you making? Oh, is this sewing bee tonight? Is it tonight? I've not lost from my days because I've been away. No idea. What day is it? It's Wednesday today. Is that sewing bee? It might be sewing bee tonight. Yes, it is because when we did the quilt along last week, wasn't it? We all, I was saying it was quickie because I wanted to watch sewing bee. So, ooh, sewing bee tonight. <laughs> There's Mr. Lowe, who's going to have to suffer it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and then back over here and take those pins out. And then again, I'm going to press it towards that strip. Ooh, now that seems like that might be quite interesting. I might take it down even further. I might start with a one inch strip rather than a one and a half, but you could then square this up. So if I just square this up to there, get rid of that excess. There we go, like that. Don't know where my big square ruler's gone. I'm gonna have to just go round, I'm afraid. So this makes a seven inch unfinished block by putting that strip in there. And I'm not sure that was necessarily the right colour to use. You might want something with a bit more pop, but that might be quite interesting actually. And then if we did that again with that, that strip in it, you'd end up with these lovely crosses like that with like bordered by those diagonal strips. So that might be quite interesting. I might play around with that a little bit more actually because I really like that little block. Let me just put that back together again, just quickly. So the block by itself is really cute. It's just, it's probably got a name, I don't know. I just drew out some different variations, um, but no block is really original, is it? So I was just playing around with what could I do with um, jelly roll square, you know, jelly roll, leftover jelly roll strips. So that was the original block like that, which I think is very cute in its own right. And you can then, um, you know, turn them and make different patterns and stuff, which would be nice. Um, but if you cut it, if you sew them back together like that, it, I don't mind that. It's not my favourite though, I don't, but I don't mind that. I like the fact that the squares are still squares, but I'm not a fan of this bit here. But actually putting a strip in might be quite interesting. I might, I might play around with this and vary that, maybe make it, cut it at one inch so it's a little bit bit smaller maybe and have that little accent-y bit going on. So that's it, that's it for today. It's my little bit of, my little bit of play with a block. Um, but have a little go, make one of these blocks and show me what you can come up with. You know, what's ahead there? Are you sewing curtains to hang behind my front door? Back to Patchwork tomorrow. Oh, lovely. It is sewing bee tonight, excellent. <laughs> um, have a little play around, make one of these little blocks. What would you do with it? I, you know, what else could you come up with? You know, I'm I'm quite liking the idea of this playing around with this strip in it. I'm gonna make a few more and see what happens with it. Um, but what else could you do? You know, can you board could you border some of the pieces first, make it bigger? Could you cut into it, you know, that way and see about putting it back together and moving like a bit like you would do with a disappearing nine patch. Have a little play. Uh, Carol, you like the original and the one with the strip? Yes, me too. Absolutely, I like those two. I don't think that one works particularly. It might do when you put it all together, but it's not my fave. I think I would either stick with the original little block, which would be super quick and simple to do with a jelly roll or a, you know scraps. You know, cut all two and a half inch pieces out your scraps. I think that might be interesting. I'm going to play around with that idea. Um, Right, hope you all enjoy sewing bee. I will be back tomorrow, hopefully with the tech working completely properly. Now I've said that, it's never gonna work, is it? Um, and we're gonna do a bold striped cushion. So we're gonna look at um, using some monochrome and a hint of color and make it a really quick, interesting cushion. Um, so we're gonna do that tomorrow and then we'll be back then next week. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow then. Enjoy sewing bee tonight. Um, I can't remember what they said, was it sports? sports stuff this time? I can't remember, but anyway, have fun guys.